Hello everyone. Today I will explain you about the topic that is food chain. Now this topic is again from the unit ecosystems. Now first of all the definition of the food chain. As we know that in an ecosystem plants and animals are interrelated for their nutritional requirement and this interrelationship is known as food chain or we can say that we have another definition the transfer of food energy hai na the transfer of food chain food energy from one level to the other level one tropic level to the other level with repeated stages the transfer of food energy from one organism to the other organism with repeated stages repeated stages means here we have this is the example of food chain hai na grass grasshopper frog snake eagle so this is the typical example of food chain so here we have different stages different repeated stages so this is the just like a series and known as food chain now here you should remember some points first is here this grass this is the producer as per the component of the structure of the ecosystem so this is the producer next to producer is known as primary consumer hai na to all these are consumers and this is producer so next to producer is primary consumer next to primary consumer in food chain is secondary consumer and next to secondary consumer in food chain is tertiary consumer and at the last level this is top consumer and these levels in food chain different levels in food chain are known as trophic levels trophic level means food level so this is all about the basic concept of the food chain now next to this is the types of food chain so again we have three different type of food chains remember this three different types first is grazing food chain second parasitic food chain and third is detritus food chain now before going to the examples you should know the definition or what does it means what is para- grazing food chain to so grazing food chain is that food chain which starts from producers hai na producers grass plants algae so here we have the example of grazing food chain which starts from grass grass is eaten by rabbit and this rabbit is eaten by fox so this is the typical example of the grazing food chain now next to this is second category of food chain is parasitic food chain here in parasitic food chain the food chain starts from herbivores remember this here the food chain starts from herbivore so here cow is the example of herbivore now on the body of cow there is a small insect like animal that is lice so this lice fulfill its nutritional requirement on from this cow just like a parasite just like so here lice is a parasite and cow is a host so this type of food chain in which in which there is a relationship between two animals host and parasite relationship this relationship is known as host and parasite relationship so such type of food chain in ecosystem is known as parasitic food chain now remember this what is the difference between parasitic and grazing food chain here in this grazing food chain it starts from producers and a small animal is eaten by big animal here rabbit is small than fox but in on the other side parasitic food chain this is a larger animal and lice is a here smaller animal so this smaller animal parasite take food from cow fulfill its requirement nutritional requirement from cow so this is from larger to the smaller so this is the basic difference between parasitic and grazing food chain now in this the last category of food chain is the detritus food chain now you should know what is detritus food chain detritus food chain means the food chain which starts from dead organic matter detritus means dead hai na remnants of the animals and plants plants or animals jab ecosystem mein unki death ho jati hai ya unke remnants hote hain excreta hota hai to wahan se agar koi food chain start hoti hai to usko hum bolte hain detritus food chain now 
here is the we have exam have an example for the detritus food chain this starts from dead organic matter to so leaf fallen leaf from the plant so this is also known as litter now this on this leaf there is the development of algal colony is leaf ke upar kya hoga algal colony develop kar jayegi water mein agar ye kisi water body mein leaf padi hui hai to us leaf ke upar kya hoga ek algal colony develop hogi now this algal colony on the leaf is eaten by crab so here crab is detrivore hai na in same way this crab is eaten by small fish and this small fish is eaten by large fish so this is the example of detritus food chain this type of food chain is generally found in mangrove forest estuarian wetlands hai na and deltas now in this the last topic is the food web now how we can define food web as we know that in ecosystem all these type of food chains are not isolated all these food chains are interconnected with each other this interconnection of different type of food chains in ecosystem is known as food web now the question is that what is the significance of food chain and food web significance of food chain and food web in ecosystem in ecosystem food chain and food web makes the system stable it regulates and maintains the population of different living organisms food chain fulfill the nutritional requirement as well as there is this cycling of nutrients in the ecosystem so this is all about food chain and food web thank you